bridging the gap between the Latino community and mainstream society in order to make better informed decisions that affect our country. For the next few minutes, we'll discuss. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum, and I'm joined today by Abigail Golden Vasquez. She is the executive director of the Latinos in Society program at the Aspen Institute. Abigail, welcome to the program. Thank you, Robert. Thank you. Here's Abigail. what we know. We know that America is becoming browner and browner. The majority of individuals in this country, probably by 2050, 2060, will look like you and I. We also know that the culture and the fabric of this country is changing, as it should. Uh, we are um, always striving to be a more perfect union. But the question always becomes is as the nation continues to become more browner, are those brown people, for lack of a better term, at the table to influence policy? Your response? Well, they're not fully at the table as they should be today. But this is very much why at the Aspen Institute we've started a Latinos in Society program to ensure that mainstream society is more aware of this changing demographic and dynamic that you just talked about and to be sure that these people are at the table. So it sounds like it's a two-way street. One way is that for, quote, unquote, mainstream society, I hate that terminology, but I understand how it's part of our national vernacular, uh, understands the uniqueness of how this country is changing. Uh, so it's raising awareness from, from their po uh, point of view. But also the other side of the street is making sure that Latinos and other individuals are at the table, not only just to influence policy, but that are shaping the policy in terms of elected officials, in terms of cabinet secretaries, in terms of perhaps maybe even running for higher office. So from a leadership capacity standpoint, how do you plant those seeds so that hopefully one day those seeds will grow into a strong-rooted tree? That's absolutely right, and it's critically important to our democracy to have all the voices at the table. And at the Aspen Institute, we feel we have a, a platform and a reach to, um, to bring those voices to the table. We also have a long history and tradition of leadership development, and we in this program, the Aspen Latinos in Society program, will be developing leadership initiatives to bring more Latinos in all sectors of society, in business, in elected office, in nonprofit, in school superintendents um, across the board. Abigail, this is an odd question, uh, but it just came to me. Why the Aspen Institute? Why, I, I don't think of the Aspen Institute as an organization that is involved in this type of policy areas, but clearly they are. Yes, well, the, I'm delighted. I've been at the Aspen Institute for eight years, and I was working on leadership development before this. And I'm just thrilled that the senior leadership of the Institute has seen the need to focus on this issue. Our country's changing, and a big part of the mission of the Aspen Institute is the search for the good society, for a, a democracy that's inclusive and that functions. And we can't do that if we don't have participation of one of the largest and, and growing young demographics in our country right now, which is the Latino community. So they understand, and we understand, that it's important to focus a lens on this issue. I think part of uh, what you're trying to say is that we need to have a national conversation about the changing demographics in this country. Uh, part of a conversation is a teaching point. And my question for you is, Abigail, who, who leads that national conversation? Is it the president? Is it Latino leaders? Is it, is it all of us? Who, who does that? I think there's a, lot, a role for many, many different sectors of society. And one of the reasons we brought this program to the Aspen Institute is because there are many, many important organizations out there in the Latino community that are talking about these issues and raising these issues. And yet we still seem to feel like it hasn't hit the mainstream society or it hasn't resonated um, and more broadly. And so we feel that Aspen, with its reach, with its public programming, has a platform to do that. It also has access to influencers and decision makers. We're known for 32 different policy programs that impact economy, that impact uh, economic advancement, and we will partner with them. All right, to be determined. Abigail, thank you very much for joining us to keep up the great work. Thank you. And thank you for joining us for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum. Have a great day. Bye-bye.